diabetes is a disease which is a global and universal concern. It is estimated to be 285 million people of having diabetes in the world. Out of the patients who are having a diabetes, one third of the patients are having a diabetic retinopathy which affects the retina that causes a visual impairment. Out of the patients who have a diabetic retinopathy, one third of the patients will have a significant visual loss due to diabetic macular edema. The major risk factors for the diabetic retinopathy are uncontrolled glycemic levels, hypertension, obesity, dyslipidemias and associated diabetic nephropathies. The patients with a diabetic retinopathy are classified broadly into non-proliferative, proliferative and diabetic macular edemas. The non-proliferative is again characterized into mild, moderate, severe and very severe non-proliferative diabetic retinopathies. Proliferative diabetic retinopathies are classified into early, high risk and advanced proliferative diabetic retinopathies. And diabetic macular edema is classified into center involving clinically significant macular edema or a non-center involving clinically significant macular edema. As the center involving macular edema is present, the patients will have a gross defective central loss of vision. And the patients with uncontrolled diabetes will go into severity of the disease. As the severity increases, the advanced PDR stage develops and in the advanced PDR stage, the patients will have a vitreous hemorrhage or a tractional retinal detachment. Early diagnosis of the diabetic retinopathy and grading the severity are very important in these patients. If the severity is at or in the early stages of the PDR, it can be treated with a panretinal photocoagulation. A panretinal photocoagulation is a laser therapy which is used to destroy the retina tissue in order to decrease the oxygen demands which are required for the retina. If the patient develops advanced, then the patient has to go for the surgical treatment. Diabetic macular edema, which is of greatest concern here, has to be treated with either focal laser with a micropulse or with intravitreal anti-vascular endothelial growth factors or intravitreal implants especially dexamethasone or many other drugs which are related to this. Early diagnosis of the diabetic macular edema or the severe diabetic retinopathy is very important in these patients in order to prevent the progression of the disease and for the visual loss. At the same time, patients should understand the importance of controlling the diabetes and the other risk factors associated with it.